You're listening to Midwest Covencast. I'm Susie. I'm Sam. And I'm Marilyn. We are three modern pagans making our way through this world. We hope you will join us every two weeks for conversations about, well, just just about about everything. everything. We hope you enjoy this episode. Hello. Good morning. (laughs) Oh, it's so, like, this is the first morning that we've recorded this season. It It is. is. And now I'm like, I'm a little tired. I got my coffee. (laughs) I wake up at 6 a.m. every day anyways, so. Yeah, you're like one of those morning people. I have babies that wake me up. Um, I used to be a morning person, like, when I worked at Aldi. But now I'm Mm. like, nope, I like to sleep until about at least 8, 9, if I can, 10. Nope. Yeah. Up at six, down by eight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm like up Mom till life. anywhere between two or four a.m. and sleep in until like ten to twelve. <laughs> nice. See, not kid life. <laughs> no, this is not not a kid life at all. It's well. No, I'm saying like when you don't have kids, you have the luxury. Well, of that's yes, and, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Well, <laughs> motherhood. That's one of the reasons I don't want kids. Is like I like to be able to live my life how I want to live my life. I yeah, miss too. traveling. Like I know you can travel with kids, but like it's, it's so much thing, more yeah. work. It's so much more money. Yeah. But, like just being able to like. And if you I'm going to go hike yeah. in the woods for four hours and just fucking go get lost in the woods for four yeah. hours. But, you know, you do that with your children and now you're, like, I endangering them. Home. And, like, <laughs> they have to, like, you have to coach them through how to pee without being on a toilet and, you know, all these other things. It becomes yeah. a chore now. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fun Not vacation. the same experience. Yeah. It's a trade-off, though, you God know? bless them. Yes, like, I, I mean, mean mm-hmm. I could see, I, there are so many things about motherhood that just do not appeal to me because I like to do things like the way I want to do them. But there are trade-offs, like, oh my gosh. But I, I do kind of get it secondhand, you know, a little bit. And it's kind of cool to be able to... be a, the aunt because then you get to... I'm telling you, it's the, the best bonuses. of both worlds, <laughs> my ladies. Like, you get that kid time, you have kids that you love so much, and then, like... <laughs> But you, you, you know, like, they go home most the of the time. The are always the ones that get away with being, like, the slightly crazy one and the extra fun and, like, the one that has, like, the sort of sneaky bad ideas, but, like, don't tell them you got them from me. That's yeah. the aunt, like. <laughs> I mean, from the from day one, I tried really, I, I failed, but I was trying to make Nugget's first word poop. <laughs> I mean, I did it openly, so. <laughs> yeah, she told me she was going to try. She's like, your first word, poop, poop. Yeah, I, feel like, I mean, I made a song and everything. <laughs> you know what, though? It's okay. I feel like it's one of those things, like you said, it's a trade-off because you get to do those things because, uh-huh. you know, but at the same well, time. it's a good like, relationship to have. Like, yes. Yeah, like outside. Outside. <laughs> They need that. They need that person that they can tell. Still yeah. Outside of mom and dad and, like, do silly things with and, like. Make them see that it's okay to be weird. And like yes. <laughs> and not always do everything that your mom tells you because she's not always right about everything. And I do let her break the rules a little bit. Not like break the rules, break the rules. Like nothing like super mad or anything. But like Girl, I let, let her, her jump on your couch. I do let her jump on my couch. I don't couch. let her jump on my couch. I know. Right here. You well, need to I get her a nugget her. and then she can jump on her nugget. Yeah. See? Well, and I'm very clear with her. I tell her every time. I'm like, this is something special at me mirrors you don't jump on other people's couches mammar lets you do it because i love you and i like to spoil you but it's not something that you do with everyone right and so i've told her this several times so i mean i know she's still very young so she doesn't entirely understand probably but but like she's kind of get it as she gets older right hey mammar lets you do special things at mammar's house but you can't do them at home and don't tell mom i let you do them here (laughs) (laughs) i mean i'm gonna be honest with you that i let him do it and you let me get away with a little you know what i mean mean, because you know it's my job as her aunt to be a little bit whatever as long as we're being safe about it because I have that autumn in there. I have that thing there, so she can't jump over. Like I, 
I have it set up I to where only, it's as safe as it can be, basically. <laughs> I think the only reason why I don't like her doing it is the fact that I know at my house, yeah. she thinks that when she goes in, she can just jump around on there. Yeah. And I've got little things that she could bang her head on and stuff that yeah. I don't want her to, like, just be jumping like around. So I'm just like, you know, if I can just get her out of the habit in general, then that would be good. But, you know, it's know, one of those I'm things. Sorry. That, no, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, what I should do is get her, I've been talking to you about getting it, and I should just get it, is that little tight, little trampoline with the with handles. The handles. You know she what? She would love that. She came home the other day and basically she had, um, Isabel had a trampoline for uh-huh. her in the basement, I think. And oh, she yeah. She was doing, yeah, she came home and then she was telling me stories. Jump in. She tells stories. <laughs> and she said, yeah, jump on the trampoline with Isabel. <laughs> like, yeah, it was really cute. So she. Yeah. That's what I should do, and then she tell her now that her. she has that, she can't jump on the furniture. This is anymore. where you jump. This yeah, is jump we should time. we should jump That's here now. That's a good now. idea, actually, because then yeah. Maybe I'll finally invest in it. I'll see. If well, I can get it like, for her, dude. It's thing. not like I can't. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. but you know, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, but we'll get her into a new habit, hopefully. Because yeah, yeah. But I figured it'd be nice to have one over here for me and mom. Oh, duh! Yeah, for her. Be a nice little star present. Yeah. It would be. Well, I already have a couple things for her. I have, uh, <laughs> everyone's going to know how early we're recording this. That's okay. Oh, yeah. The, you know what? Our, yes. our, our lives are complicated, so you, know, you understand. So we haven't really gotten on topic yet, so we could just have this whole entire first segment just be a bonus content. Yeah. Thing. That's yeah. what I was saying. We we're not even out. into the episode yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut this. Good and morning. We'll into they're a mess. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just gonna say the Ostara present anyway. Maybe I, we can release yeah. this as early content as oh, season three is coming back. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we're creating content. Ooh. Yes. So, anyways, the Ostara present that I got her because I can share this because the holiday will be passed by this point. Um, I got her a little bikini thing. It's like well, it's like a. It's like a long sleeve with some like Hawaiian flower look and the little oh I showed you I the other you day. I think you showed me a picture. Yes. yes, I got it on Poshmark and then there's something else I had for her. What else did I have for her? Oh, I was gonna get her some more Llama Llama books. I haven't ordered them yet, but I need to. But she loved Llama too. Llama red pajamas. That's right. You said they had a whole like lineup. Of yeah, them, right? <laughs> I'm getting her one that's Llama Llama mad at Mama. <laughs> <laughs> called the way i feel and it goes through like you know yeah. when you're silly or when you're feeling jealous or when you're feeling mad and one of them is scared and it shows the same thing in the dark with covers up to here yeah. like, uh-huh. and i want and because that's when she goes to bed at night is alone yeah now she's scared to go to bed because that's uh. what we <laughs> make yeah. our children feel like association with being afraid i mean but that is the most common fear in children i'm but yeah. Yeah. but is it all just projected onto them <laughs> it's like, i don't know i mean well, i feel like so, i remember being scared in the dark sometimes you know what i mean it probably because they can't see as well you know like i can see how we give them anxiety well so dylan i never had nightlight for him like i wouldn't he would just go to bed and if it was like pitch black he would just be in bed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and when i i forget who it was but like somebody like had to was like well there should be a nightlight there and then he like needed the nightlight now he still has a nightlight you know like mm-hmm. because it's like but, one of those things like, like if he was never told that, he, he had was to have fine one. without it before until somebody was like oh yeah you have the nightlight and then he yeah. had it for a while and then he couldn't go back to not you know, having it it is yeah. kind of one of those things that's funny about kids is like especially if they like are drawn to a person they tend to try to mimic them or like you know listen or obey them a lot and you know it's like they they like it because they told them that they liked it you know what i mean so i can mm-hmm. see where they could catch yeah. on to things like yeah be influenced yeah i feel like it could go on two things. different ways though like is it suggest <laughs> being suggested to them and then they take it on or is it like now they are starting to get language for things that they've always felt, but were never really able to express adequately before. express. You I know mean, what I mean? This is true too. I guess it could be. It a could be a little of both, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Right. 
Yeah. It's kind of one of those things that probably um, situational to situational. It's probably, yeah, yeah sometimes it's like, uh, oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to just take that on because I never thought of that before. And then sometimes <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I think that is kind of how I am. Like, yeah, that, you know, like that, oh, that resonation thing. <laughs> it resonates This with really me. resonates with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's going to be a t-shirt. <laughs> That's going to be me. This really resonates with me. You could put a that could be our first one. <laughs> Favorite t-shirt, Trevor. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. <laughs> Anyways. Jinx, Finn, Coke, Coke. So, so ladies, ladies, we are so tangent-driven so people. Yeah, let's, get back, let's get back what? on topic. Wait, before we get on topic... Can we get into those cookies? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, cookies soup. right here. Ooh, I didn't know Liz, they were so right in front of me. I saw yeah, them. they're like literally in front of your face. Should I um, spark this too or should we wait till after the cookies? So I was... Uh, Either or. I already wrote our... Wrote. I already lit our ritual candle. I speak English sometimes. Mm. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, that's been going for a while, even though we're not technically on episode yet, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're getting there. Tangent. All of our it predictions are our way Patreon. far off from it anyways at this point, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah. So, I like the fact that we're still doing it, though. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have our cookies, I think we need to talk about one of our first outing experiences. Our experience number mm-hmm. one. Yes. yes. Well... No, no, no. Technically, too, because we had our recipes. Yes. But well, this is our first, like, in the community, which yeah, is what like this whole yes. season is really about, is involving the community more, being out there with people, getting to know our fans, and we'll Doing be... Doing new things and yeah. trying new... Yeah. yeah. Avenues that we haven't been doing. Mm-hmm. Connections and experiences and... Cookies. Living Expanding life. Expanding ourselves. <laughs> yes, living life. So, who wants to tell them what it's about? I feel like, Sam, you should introduce it, because this was, I believe, your idea. It was. So, we went to do a salt therapy that also had light and sound therapy, like, Mm -hmm. simultaneously. Yeah. And I think um, it's, what's the other name for it? It's like halo therapy. Halo therapy. Halo therapy. Okay. I wasn't sure. Like, I've only ever read the word. I've never actually heard anyone speak it out loud. <laughs> it's one of those I'm, I'm not therapy. great at pronouncing words that I haven't heard pronounced yet. So I'm yeah. just kind of. I wasn't I'm sure assuming. if it was halo or halo. But I either of them I would halo. make sense. Yeah. It kind of makes like a salt ring on the wall with a salt halo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It probably has something with to do with its like technical chemical name or something maybe halo uh, well it was like it's a, just pure just salt pure sa- uh saline whatever right is that yeah. hydrogen saline or well, i don't oh know I'm gosh, pro- that's I... not what it's called i i something um i can't remember what the chemical name for salt is <laughs> sodium the, something it's on the ele- table of elements right? <laughs> but the salt that they use specifically was like sodium pure. I don't know if it's sodium chloride. Is that yeah. what sound no, right? that doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a chemist. I do not know. We can look it yeah, up. Obviously. Gonna, I'm trying to look up the like halo. Is it like Latin maybe for salt? I'm wondering. Well, I'm just thinking to myself. Um, when that it's not referring to the light therapy. That's referring to the salt therapy. No, so it's, it's something the about salt. halogen or okay. halothane. Halogen. I wonder if that's. So I was hear about halogen light bulbs. So that's why I thought lights for some reason, but oh, maybe that's like to breathe. Hello, maybe that is the oh, I don't know. Well, so or it, Greek for salt, maybe. In the so ocean. it originated during the Greek age, apparently. Yeah, okay, that, that's where um, I'm at right now. A okay. hundred and fifty <laughs> years ago, in natural salt caves and mines, when they were mining the salt, they recognized the benefits of inhaling the dust and such yeah. so that's where the therapy originated and they first saw the benefits hmm. so, yeah okay so that kind of tracks with like what i had heard about halotherapy before because or halo therapy I'm sure. <laughs> however hello, I, hello, <laughs> hello. Hello. you say hello i, I say hello <laughs> you Remember say that potato and i say potato. Potato. yes <laughs> oh man i need to reshare uh, that anyway 
I feel like it did not get enough as much attention as it deserved. It was hilarious. <laughs> That was so it silly. It was so silly. Uh, um, but anyways, yeah, I had heard it was sort of like Eastern European maybe or ish. Yeah. See now, okay, so personally when um when we were first getting into this, mm-hmm. I was actually thinking because at first we were gonna go to Luna de Tura's and we were gonna get a sound bath. And I was yeah. super excited because I was like, Ooh, I get to like feel the vibration. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh so basically, I love you guys' sound bowls. Yeah, it, that's yeah, my why. Chakras really cool. are lying. Yeah, so Sam got me the heart chakra one, and it actually like yeah when we play when we do it, it like literally just yeah. it's my, you can feel the resonance of it. Yes, yeah, yeah. like throughout my whole body. Well, like, see, so for me, I I don't know as much about like the chakra stuff. That's been more you two's like area. But, like, I just feel like I resonate so much with sound in general. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I love music. I love making music. I love singing. I love, you know what I mean? You can I mean, feel it through your entire body, like, yeah. all your cells. Like, I don't know. I'm all about sound. And- By the way, thanks to everyone who's listening to the Witch Shanty. To yeah. bring up my music. Sorry, but I'm just... Yeah. I felt the need to thank everyone. It's been doing pretty good on, like, Spotify and Apple Music and stuff. Mm-hmm. But anyways, but, yeah, it's my love of <clears throat> sound, like... It's like, I feel like I, I it would. Be so good maybe for you me. would be interested to do this with me too, then, because okay, so yeah, going into this, I was kind of excited about the sound bath part of it, particularly because for some reason, yeah, when you got me that sound bowl, I was like, oh man, this thing is awesome, you mm-hmm. know, like, and then I've seen pictures like of people that are like laying on the ground and they have all the bowls around them. Yeah, and, and like, like they put them on their different chakras and play them. Yeah, exactly. And I, I want like, someone to do that. I feel just like me. that. Was- <laughs> I want to yes. be your sound bowl speaker. Like, like just yes, like, like I can not just shut sort of, me. <laughs> yeah, I can I I can see how that would feel really cool. So like because it was, like it's it's penetrative some in some yeah. way sound is. That's what I mean. So. Like you can, like, yeah, you like when you walk into a concert and you can like feel the like waves of music flowing yeah. through you like it's fucking awesome. So I can't imagine like what this and they're very particular about the hertz that they reach i think yeah. per chakra and yeah. per like sound yeah. bowl and so, like your body tries to match it or like mimic it so then it, that's what mm-hmm. make yes i want yeah it like it does it to your cells or something i, I feel was like it's like slightly a underwhelmed that that's not what we experience for the sound therapy that was part. all i was gonna say yeah. that was the only downfall for me i love the I ha- whole experience yeah. but i was yeah. definitely like darn it i still want a sound bath sound bath yeah. i think like i think more than <laughs> so well, first, I just want to say, like, so what the ex- actual sound experience was, was just through the audio speaker, they played, like, meditation, like, type zeny music. Yeah, yeah um, it was still very which calming. Which, to be fair, I was going to say, it was calming, it just wasn't quite what I was expecting. I wasn't, like, disappointed in the experience. I didn't feel bathed in sound. Yeah. I felt more Like, I wanted in... to feel that, like, penetrate into my soul. <laughs> kind of, like, yes. you know, like, when you play it, your yeah. sound yeah. bowl. You hear it and, like, yes. ooh. Yeah, it's like, when you <laughs> guys play your sound balls or when I like do my sort of meditative humming like when I'm trying to calm down like I can I, it you resonates feel. I can feel it in me yeah like it's different it's it's yes. not the same well, thing for me if I like I guess once I I kind of realized before we got there that it probably wasn't a sound bath and I probably was like it probably was just audio speaker and I don't know why yeah. I thought it was the other thing you in the first place too. that's why I'm going well, we to were like, sure well yeah so, but like yeah. but when now I forgot what else. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Damn it. Sorry. On a roll. I was going to say something. We were talking about You weren't about sure how... that you, you thought oh, maybe you had... Yeah. So once I already, like, realized that, I kind of knew the expectation. But I guess what would have helped me, like, experience it better, I guess, if it was a guided meditation. Like, yeah. for me, just, like, hearing the music, it's really hard for me to, like, tap into it. But if it's, like, somebody guiding me through, like, steps of how to also... Yeah what I should be doing with my body or recognizing like mindfully because I have a hard time with mindfulness, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, It took a little longer for me to like get into the music just because I don't know how to just automatically like shift into being in tune to that. Right. Same. Yes. 100%. Like, cause that's one of the things for me, like you're saying, like a guided meditation is more calming to me because I know what to do and I'm like, 
I'm, I'm a very checklisty person and a very step by step yeah. person. Yeah. So if I'm like, okay, now my fingers are relaxed, now my hands and are now relaxed, we're doing now this. my arms are relaxed. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, well, I can do that. <laughs> I so when we had in there, so the, we are ta- we are, are going to talk about this later in the season, but. Um, I was trying to do, like, the gateway experience thing. Like, once we all calm down. I do, like, I want to be a little bit fair. I think it took us, like, 15 minutes to calm the fuck down. As a group. Yeah. <laughs> As a group. Yes. Yeah. It's so, so, like, when you go in, you have the expectations to try to do it. And then, like, yeah. It, and then you have people there. I should have known silly. better. I have I, my I mean, husband okay. with us. Yeah. And, like, I can't take my <laughs> husband anywhere. He's just a good call. So, like. It made it fun, uh, though. It's you. It was Eventually, fun, yeah. he took a nap and started snoring. So. <laughs> Oh, that was the best part. <laughs> yeah. Now that we know that they have a three-person room, I think the three of us should go together and request that room. So it's just the three of us. Mm-hmm. Well, I also want to do a play date with the kids. That yeah. would be fun, I think. Because mm-hmm. th- I'm sure Kelly would get a kick out of that. But, oh, like, yeah. that's what well, we could all three to. bring all three of the kids also. True. And just be all in, in the that same room. room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure that the lights, oh man, she'll probably be like, ooh, she'll be loud though. She won't yeah. be quiet, but, you know. Well, <laughs> to be honest, I think the the coolest part between the sound, sight and sound was the light therapy like Dude. when you close your eyes and you could see especially if they have the yes. shifting lights mm-hmm. it was funny so. because at one point i wanted it to i loved when it shifted from like the the bright into like the blues so i was like mm-hmm. okay can we like maybe just do like a shift of just the blues and the greens in and out of each other but they didn't have that option it was only like throughout all of the colors yeah. or just stayed stagnant on one and I was kind of like, darn it, I wish they had, like, the flowy yeah. with well, just, just the... Well, those lights are made, yeah. Susie. Yeah, no, 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 nothing on salt and soul. Yeah. I wasn't saying it, like, against that. I was just saying it in general. So, Me being a picky person. To have, like, a certain mood, experience. different mood settings. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Like, if I could flow through all of the cool colors at one point in time and then, and then raise myself up into the hot colors yeah. to feel that energy. They probably need a more complex lighting system for that. Yeah, that I have really cool. liked the red yeah. light, though. It made you feel energy, like as soon as, like, yeah. like you're at the beach and, and like it's like the yeah. sun's shining on you and you're like relaxing. Yeah. I was really like digging the blues. Yeah, yeah, I like some the of the greens a little the bit, blue, but I didn't like um, what's the word? Like I liked when my eyes were closed and like you said, it was flowing through all the colors. How I could still almost see the color through my eyelids, but not see it. Yeah, it well, made so, the whole energy change in me. Like I could feel the energy, like yeah. you're saying, when the reds come on, how it was energizing. Yeah, I could feel my like energy get energized. Well, from me and it. Trevor like, smoked a blunt before we went, <laughs> and then so we get there, and she's explaining it to us, and she turns the lights on, and she puts it on the mood, the the color shifting thing, and we're staring at her talking, and then it shifts from like the yellow to the green to the turquoise. And, like, when it shifts to the turquoise, like, the wall, like, kind of, like, your perspective changes, and it all just kind of, like, yes. gets hazy, and, like... <laughs> I didn't really experience I looked, that she personally, did, though. But... I caught a little bit of it, too. It was, like, she almost it was looked, like, like... me and Trevor looked at each other. We're just, like, just what a second that? as it shifted. I mean, it wasn't, like, a long-lasting thing for me, but I was, was just... It, oh, because she had a blue shirt on. Too, I heard them talking about it, and I was just like, oh, man, that was cool. That was, was like, what was that? <laughs> But yeah, it was, I think, um, I was happily surprised with the light therapy because I didn't really expect that to be like that. I didn't know what to yeah, expect. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect either. And I did yeah. really like it. Well, I was a little bit surprised. Well, to be fair, I hadn't, I didn't visit their website. I just wanted to go into the experience kind of semi-fresh. Yeah. So I didn't realize there was going to be salt all over the floor. I just thought it was going to be like a room with like a bunch of those salt lamp things. Because I mean, I've seen people with like the Himalayan salt lamps. Yeah, and I right. knew that this was related to that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I wasn't surprised by the lights like on the walls. Like their wall fixtures were like just basically blocks I'm of ice with LED that. lights behind them. Yeah. And then blocks like of salt. Salt. Correct. Sorry, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> um, Himalayan salt specifically, I think. Yes. Um, but yeah, there was Himalayan, like, what is it, 5,000 pounds of it on the floor Yes, that you just, like, walk on, which was... Oh, man. I didn't just walk in it. I buried myself in that. (laughs) She heard, she was like, dude, do snow angels, have fun, be, you know, and it was like, okay, and then she leaves the room and it's like, heck yes, we're gonna dive dive in. I'm diving in. (laughs) Bury me, please. Yeah, it's... it well, kind I of think... hurt to walk on a little bit for me, but, like, once you get sit, sat down and stuff, it isn't bad. I think I probably would consider wearing the booties, or, you know, what I wish I do, would do is just make little booties just for over your toes, because I felt like it yeah. was very uncomfortable when it got stuck between my toes. That kind of yeah, was I a little bit. Like, Ouch. <sighs> yeah. It was so irritating being at the 
on the beach with sand a well, little and bit. And I the liked toes, the way that it's so much once bigger. I buried, it's like, Ooh. Yeah. like once I buried myself in it, yeah. and then I put like they had the yoga pillows, so I took one of the weighted yoga pillows and put it on my like stomach and then I just yep. laid there with the weight of the salt and that on me like like a weight of blanket experience <laughs> yeah. yes no, I, well, yeah. and then I fucking started my period the next day so I was like no mon- no wonder like that pillow felt so nice <laughs> on my uterus <laughs> <laughs> release everything so let it go oh my goodness. <laughs> but no honestly when it came to the walking on the salt so at the very end when we were trying to kind of like lay because it was all kind of uneven at one point. It was all very moundy when we got mm-hmm. up out of the sand or out of the salt. So I was kind of like walking over it to kind of even it back out. And I swear to you, that was the best part was just walking, walking, walking all over it, all rough. Yeah. And then walking out on the soft afterwards. Oh my God, my feet felt, felt so fucking good. Like <laughs> it literally, like I almost want to just get, I was joking around. I was like, I'm just going to get a big old thing, a bit of a Tupperware. Salt. And just pour a bunch of Himalayan salt in there, whatever I want. So I was going there like grapes, and just smash the shit out of the salt, and then I'll have my my nice Your salt uh, therapy. My salt therapy, yes. yes. Yeah. But yeah. So overall, I thought it was a very very awesome experience. It was relaxing, yeah. calming. Yeah. And the salt itself—that was what I was going to talk about. Was yeah, so, we haven't actually talked about the actual mecha- mecha- mechanics yeah, of the actual yeah. salt room. Yeah, yeah. So it's really just the salt. What was it? A they said that's just for sort on the wall. Well, diffuser. so all the salt on like the that, floor and in the lamps were just for decoration. Yeah, like and to play. And like an aesthetic <laughs> yeah. experience. Yeah, kind of yeah. but so the actual therapy Back-tack. is that it's um, it's very pure salt. I can't remember what she called it. Like hydro it's like something so- uh, sodium nitrate. Some sodium type nitrate of sodium so- that it's is like a pure, very pure and. Yes. They put N-A-S-N-A. it into the air, into a, like a mist. So then you're breathing it in, and it clears out like your respiratory system. And like I felt good the next day, and like I always have like nasal drip, like constantly year round. Year round. See, that what was, was it, right. sodium chloride. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's like, it was right. I think that's what I said. Yeah, I think it was. We were <laughs> like, is that right? I don't know. <laughs> We're double thinking our that sounds, ladies. <laughs> yeah, I felt I really like clear, ladies. like sinusy, clear the next day, and like I felt relaxed and like my mood was fine. And but then it like after like two or three days, it did kind of wear off. But like I want to do it again. Yeah. Like I, I definitely want to go there again. Yeah, I'm definitely interested. I also I might go get a membership card. <laughs> <laughs> I also was excited about in the gift shop. Oh man, that was a cool little gift shop. The yeah. stuff that you guys bought, mm. it was like that putty. Yeah, yeah. that uh, stuff was cool. Pinch me dough. I yeah. think yes, I want to go back and get some for myself. I'm gonna actually. get more. <laughs> yeah. And then they had these really awesome teas. It was like go the fuck to sleep tea and like. <laughs> Oh man, they were just like really obscene like names for them, but they were great. And yeah. if we can find them, I'll put a link or something on there. But it was really funny the teas that they had. Yeah, there. I got some of that Play Doh stuff. I got the refresh, but smell it smells really good. It smells like fresh. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the one and yeah. like. I like the it's, berry one you showed me. That's what I yeah. want to go back and get was that mulberry or whatever it was. Yeah, like mine started to dry out a little, but then I just put like just unscented massage oil on it and <laughs> freshened it back up. Uh, <laughs> hey. I haven't had any problems with it mine. It says to but put like, like essential oils time. in it, but I didn't want to change the scent of what mine already smells like, so yeah. that's why I just used like my just Nonsense. basic massage oil and yeah. put it in there and it makes sense. livened it back up and now it's all soft again. Nice. <laughs> I, um, I also got a little candle there. So they had these candles. They were just like small little, like yeah. probably single use that burned for I a few hours. I think they said they were made by... The girls in the shop. Oh, or, nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Or maybe it's just so somebody else rents the space. I don't know. Yeah. How, I don't know if all of the stuff is theirs or how much is yeah. um, other Rockford artists. Right. I, um, so anyways, they, uh, sorry. <laughs> I was, well, I was like, where do I want to go with this? Because I was like, maybe we should talk to them about making earrings for their shop or something. No, you're talking about <laughs> your flowers. But no, sorry. I was going to talk about my flower. <laughs> yes. It was a topic. Um. So, anyways, I it's sort of like a single use candle, but they had some that had like flowers pressed into them, and they had one that had like the little violets that have like the yellow in the middle. And we used to pick violets all the time for Grandma Dorothy, and she passed away when I was in like sixth grade or like the summer before sixth grade, I think it was. Um, and so I, I it just reminded me of her, so I was like I had to get it. 
So I did. And then I, bur- I burned it a few days ago, actually. All the way? Oh, single yeah, use stuff. It was, it's, <laughs> I mean, it only burns for a few hours. It's, like, really small. It was yeah. only, like, maybe three-inch candle, maybe. It was, it was, like, maybe a half an inch wide-ish. So, I mean, it was pretty short, you know? I think you took a picture of it on I our do. Patreon. I it, do. It's on our Patreon. Ooh, you want to see it. It is. It's, all you, it's at the $5 level. You can look at it. It's there. You can find it. So have we talked about our Patreon yet? I think here? we dropped we, it. I think a we little yeah. Bit. I think we talked about it a little bit in the first episode. I don't know if we mentioned it in the last one because we kind of got a little on. bit more details going on, right? Should yeah, we? we've made it since then, so now we have more information. <laughs> so yeah, join today. We have our Patreon up and going. Five dollars for the lowest tier, ten dollars, and then fifteen dollars. Yeah, five dollars for our just like our general feed and some. You help feed I, us. I, the I believe it's five, ten, and twenty. No. Oh, sorry, I, I went to fifteen. My five, ten, Love and twenty. <laughs> yeah, yes. five, ten, twenty. And if you stay at twenty for your three months, then you get a free T-shirt. So Ooh. yeah. So um. But so where so salt salt and soul is the name of the company. They're located in Rockford. Mm-hmm. On Mulford. Yeah, they have a website. It's called Salt and well, if you go to saltandsoul.net, S A L T A N D S O L dot net, uh, they have information there. Yeah, it was kind of nice to get out of the house, drive a little, you know, get, get and to, to do something that's already like it's supposed to be good for your respiratory system, which you know is always good these days. Well, <laughs> yeah, you know, with all of the colds that we're all getting over <laughs> but no honestly that was one thing too and it's not like there's a whole bunch of people it's not a crowded area either so it's not like you know yeah it was kind of a small space but like i mean it was it was plenty of room well, in the each room, room is pri- like, like a... each room is privately booked for your group so. yeah mm-hmm. right so just to throw that out there for yeah they that also I think have in the biggest room so they also have available a salt sauna, which I really want to try Ooh, yeah. the salt sauna. That probably would be nice. Because I feel like I kind of, I don't know why, but I kind of thought that it would be like a more heated room. Maybe not a sauna, but like it would be like a hotter room. Warm at least, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, it was a little bit chilly. So I, yeah, I want to try it with the heat and see how that mm-hmm. is because I believe that's awesome. I bet it's awesome. <laughs> well, and plus with the air, I mean, the or heat, with the, eh. I'm well, not the air too. Or, I'm sorry, well, and you can be naked steam. in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and the steam, I'm sure. <laughs> you gotta salt your vagina a little. Well, that's <laughs> what I was like. Well, I would probably not want a dried out. <laughs> like, uh, there's certain things that wear something stay covered like, up, Yeah, but. like I thought about that when they're like, you strip down to your own comfort level, and then I was like, well. Yeah. Salt <laughs> sounds like it shouldn't be like misting its way up there or around there or No, I'm good on that. <laughs> maybe, but maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I do feel like um a But they do do yoni general... steaming. So what? Oh. But they do <laughs> steam those, but so maybe it doesn't would be I don't know. <laughs> no idea. If you what know, I was going to say though, the <laughs> what I was going to say though is that if you are like in the sauna in general though, like I remember we used to just like turn on the heat on our um, shower really really hot and just steam in the shower for that, you know, mm-hmm. like just to breathe nice. And so I can imagine that you'd get more salt and more of a cleansing experience. Given yeah, with the water too. You it know what I possibly. mean? Because it was kind yeah. of a dry salt intake at this point. Yeah. You could taste the salt, you could, which I didn't mind. Like, like, I was like... I was looking at my lips like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is I was breathing it through my nose a majority of the time, and I couldn't tell if I was getting any of it, so mm-hmm. then I purposely went through my mouth just to make sure I couldn't. Yeah, it was like a total mouthful of salt, like, ha, huh, yep, okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I was breathing it in both ways. I'm glad I got yes. that Kleenex at the beginning, though, because my nose dripped literally one time when I was in there, which they warned us it might. So yeah, I grabbed one just in case because I think yeah. I sneezed like a little bit before we went in, like in the parking lot. I had a sneeze on accident, and then I was like, "Darn it! Now I'm gonna have a drippy nose in here." <laughs> but it wasn't that bad actually. So luckily, 
Yeah. Oh, you, you know what? I, the one thing that I did actually um, forget for I was going to mention yeah. was, okay, so at one point I had to apologize to you guys because I got the giggles. Like, I, for some reason, like, it was probably like, Maybe a half hour into it, wasn't uh-huh. it? Maybe 45 minutes? I remember into it. it. I, I was, don't remember. I was like, I was like thinking, sudden, I opened my eyes. <laughs> well, like, all of a sudden, well, I could And help then it. I was like, oh no, if I start, then like, we're not going to stop because yes. I'm just. I was so, oh God, I just, right. I couldn't stop. Like, I, the trying to stop was making me laugh harder. And then I was like, good God, and there's no stopping the hearing of it. I mean, we're all in a room together. Like, was, <laughs> but, um,. But I think part of what was making me laugh was the fact that, like, we all kept adjusting just a little bit. And so yeah. you, would hear, you would hear the salt, like, mouths go <laughs> crinkle. And around. then you'd get, like, relaxed, and you'd hear somebody else go. <laughs> and then relax. Like, so it just started cracking me up. Man. Yeah. But anyway, so I just had to mention that, that that was a little bit of a funny. Yeah, uh, you just hear people crunching. Yeah, crunching up in the salt, getting their, yeah. getting relaxed. <laughs> well, I'm really excited. They did say that they're going to have, I don't think we mentioned this before, but we were talking about like the meat sound therapy and whatever, but mm-hmm. um, they did say something about, are they having like a Reiki oh, the, person or something? Yeah, they're having soon? like a Reiki drum circle soon, but I don't know if you get the salt experience with that or not. I gotcha. don't know what anything about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's they have I'll just check out their website. Their website. <laughs> But, so, personally, I would maybe go back with, like, the kids and stuff. I think just yeah. because I feel like that would be something fun for them to experience. I think it would be fun for them to play in the salt and stuff. But honestly. I think I'm still <laughs> interested in going to get a dang sound bath at yeah. uh, Luna de Torres. I yeah. think that I, at one point in my life, want to have that done at some... Yeah. So, I'm like, you know what? what? What better time than now? So, <laughs> I'm well, gonna try to still go that for that. Too. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if you guys want, yeah. we could... Definitely make yeah, that let us know. Experience. By the way, on our website, we do have it linked for you to submit if you have like experience ideas or questions you want to ask us or like whatever. We have a form on our website that you can let us know. So yeah, we'd be interested to see what you guys would be interested to have us do. <laughs> Talk about what do you want to hear? Our what, what experiences? experiences? <laughs> what do you want to have with us? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but so you know, I I think one thing that we haven't really talked a whole lot about yet is how we felt in like because it was it was pretty much exactly a week ago. Oh yeah, yeah actually. So was it? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So how have you been feeling over this past week? I guess I still kind of feel like my lungs might be a little clearer, but like like my sinuses, like I always have that problem. So I feel like I'd have to go a couple times maybe for that to like have an effect. Stay longer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I did have, like, a clear sinus the next couple days, but, like, I can feel it coming back now. But, like, my lungs feel good, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I've felt fine. I've actually been pretty productive this week, actually, but I I mean, I don't know if I could really, you know... Are we just getting our shit on point? Or am I just... (laughs) Or is it because the sun's been out a little bit this week? That probably helped, too. So I don't know if I can, like, singularly attribute it to that. Mm Mm-hmm. I also did, I did sleep really well that night. Again, I don't know if, you know, correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation, but, you know, I can say I did sleep well that night. She did say that um, we should sleep really good that night, and I was so looking forward to that, but I've just been on this weird sleep thing with me lately. You've been having sleep problems in general, so. And unfortunately did not cure them either. (laughs) I was so looking for, I was like, this is going to be the cure-all for all of my problems. And it just It (laughs) didn't. It was still a very good experience and a very awesome experience, though. So I'm not, like, trying to deny that. But it definitely, it's not a cure-all, unfortunately, either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely interested in trying it again, though. Same. For sure. Yeah. And especially with, with the light therapy. Like I said, I really liked the light therapy part of it a lot, too. So I, like, want to get some of those on my wall at my house and my room. I know. Like... You know, I was just thinking about that. I've Ever <laughs> since we were there, I've been thinking, I was like, Maybe now I know what I want to do with that bedroom. <laughs> there we go. Just make, make it into it a is. meditation room. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I would do the salt on the floor, but yeah, I probably, probably do not. like. But maybe see if I can get one of those like just salt distributor things for yeah. Yeah. and like the. We can just come over here and do our. Salt I'll come bit. over. <laughs> our, our salt, yes, therapy sessions. No, I'm I'm guessing those things are expensive as heck. I'm oh, thinking I'm sure. Salt and Souls still got me. And the salt itself to buy and refill, I'm sure, is probably a little. Oh, well, yeah. maybe not. I, mean, I don't know. Salt is a not too 
expensive, I guess, but I don't know. I swear it's salt and soul. We're not coming for your business. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. I, I'm thinking I will be at salt and soul more, definitely, because I don't, I mean, I don't have money to change my room like that. No, <laughs> Let's be honest. like, I ain't going to go on and do all that. <laughs> uh. Um, but to get a, like, light therapy lamp, though, I think would be kind of nice, just in general. Like, maybe yeah. not a huge one to put on the freaking wall like that, but I have seen, yeah. like, light therapy things that they sell. I have a couple salt lamps, and then I have one that, it's like a salt lamp bowl that has six balls that you mm -hmm. can, like, take off and use for massaging oh, balls. Yeah. And oh, yeah. that's right. I've I think you've seen that at your place before. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I saw it at your house or if I just saw a picture of one at the store. I think we sell Ooh, those. in the gift shop, though, they have this dome one that you put on the floor and it was a foot lamp oh, and yeah. I really want to go back and get that. It was warming, it. right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. That did feel nice. And I think they have it available I in the other rooms. The, time. I should the other oh, the use? room that had the chairs in it had yeah. those in it. I, I did you see that room? Uh uh. Oh well okay, so I, I you know how I did a TikTok while we were there? Uh uh. Um, I didn't know that. Oh thing. yeah. <laughs> Do you pay attention at all? So I'm just kidding. I took pictures <laughs> of her kidding. there, but I didn't know you did. Yeah, I so uh, I I did take a little bit of like a camera shot of the room that had the little spa chairs in it. So I'll okay. I'll have to show you the TikTok. I haven't really. Next time we go, we should just go into that room instead. And it's then... coming out the probably the day that this comes out. I've been saving it to okay. like release. So yeah. closer to when it's yeah, so everybody can see what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I actually um, before about. we went in, I decided to do a recording of what my because I I was kind of not knowing what to expect, but kind of knowing what we were expecting going into it. So uh -huh. I did a little like voice recording of what my pre like expectations. Oh, yes. editing Marilyn, you gotta get that from yeah, her. I'll send it, it right here. I'll send it to you. So you can release it like as a teaser. Before Some behind this the scenes. Episode just... Comes out. <laughs> I should just edit it in right I here. was like, I can make a piece of content right now, but should I? I was like, yeah, just do it. So I did it. And I'm like, if it gets used, it gets used. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But right at least here. I'm trying to just go for it. I'm just going to splice it in. <laughs> Susie's private thoughts on the matter. <laughs> yes. And then play it right now. I'm just kidding. And then play it. <laughs> Uh, and we're back from Susie's thoughts. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely, it was something that I um, I need to get better at is making content on the whim like that. Because yeah. you guys are so good at that. Yeah, I'm just, that's all right. We will get there. I tell myself all the time, we'll get there. So I think um, we need to talk, too, about... So does anyone have any final thoughts on Salt and Soul slash... Halo therapy slash sound therapy slash light therapy. Nope. That was it. You've exhausted <laughs> all your thoughts. I've exhausted all my thoughts on yeah. it. Give it a try. That we'll is try all I have again. to say about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Although, yeah, I want to do it again. That's all I yeah, want to leave it at. Same here. Like, I want to yes. do it again. I want to do the sauna version. I want to bring my kids and do that. She wants to go naked and breathe in that yeah. salt, baby. <laughs> but not in her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. I'm excited about our next recording. I don't know if it'll necessarily be our next episode, but we're having another guest, Woo! two guests actually coming soon. Yes. So yes. that's exciting. Very yes, exciting. I'm super excited for that. Bringing back a little guest from the past. Blast from the past, baby. Playing can games again, and I like oh, playing right. games. I was going to say, can you guess who it is? <laughs> That'll be something we can engage on our... Yes. Leave it in the comments. It's a guest with extra guests. Yeah. Guess with extra guests. Guess with the extra guests on top. Yes. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yes. Uh <-huh>. yes. <laughs> so I think we also need to talk about book club. Book club, which we, <laughs> we mentioned it kind of in the first episode. But not we were like more information to come. Yeah, so we're going to mainly it's be now. hosting yeah. that on our Patreon because we love you guys and want you guys to join us there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to structure it basically on Patreon for $5. You would be have access to all of our content on the book club. We're going to do um, some of the rituals that are in the book, which uh, again was... Yeah, we're doing the Witch's Guide to Self Care. Yeah, I believe it's the title. By and so the author is Erin Murphy Hiscock. 
And so the Witch's Guide to Self Care. Is, yes. Oh, yeah. It is available on Kindle Unlimited as of the recording of this, but we are recording a little early, so hopefully that's still true by the time you hear this. <laughs> um, and then also, I mean, you can order it in a variety of places online if you would like to participate. And we will hopefully have a some sort of post up, um, hopefully by the time our next episode goes up. Yeah, but kind of like when we dropped the bomb before about book club, um, everyone needs a little self-care, especially these days, mm-hmm. so I think it's going to be a really good thing to get get our group involved and do that together. I'm excited. Yeah. We see what she has to say about it, how to incorporate our witchiness. Yeah. Slash paganness. It'll slash allow whatever. me to explore <laughs> those parts, like, because that's one of the things that I felt like when we started this, I was super excited about, because I'm not, like, a super duper religious person, but I definitely like to express but my spirituality. Spiritual. Yeah. So... This sort, these sorts of things like rituals and stuff, they give me kind of a way to express that without it being like, um, what's the word? Without being weird. Over, without it being overwhelming. And, and like, overwhelming too. And it's more personal to yeah. what we have going on within our own lives, you know? Like, right. that's one of the things that, um, yeah, like I said, I was kind of excited when we started this was that to do more routines and rituals yeah. and but it's definitely going to be a lot. My life. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely going to dive a little more um, into our personal lives. So that's another reason why we're going to, yeah. you know, do it on Patreon. So it's a more intimate group, and those who want to come join us there, we're super excited to have you. Yeah, and I I do think we should be clear though too, just because. We probably have a variety of different people on different spiritual paths. Aaron Murphy Hiscock is uh, Wiccan specifically, which is a little bit more religious. But um, I'm kind of interested to see because there are some... I really like her other books, though, in yeah. the way it's very open and they don't seem secular. Like, they don't have to be... Your rituals don't have to be secular in any way. Or, yeah. or non-secular. They don't I... have to be deity specific. Or they don't have to have a... Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm kind of interested. Like, I mean, my origins were more Wicca, so I've kind of moved away from Wicca a bit. But I think there's still a lot of stuff that came with that from when I, you know, my starting my teenage years of being witchy um, that have sort of been carried with me from Wicca in my current practice. I've just sort of moved away from some of the some aspects of it, but I'm not going to get into the whole specifics of that right this <laughs> second. But, <laughs> but I think... Um, being sort of aware of the path that the person's on is probably important to our readers. And we can still yeah. think and talk about it critically and, like, whatever, you know. I'm pretty excited about it, in fact. I Because I, I've read some of those <coughs> before, too. And I think it's not over overly Wiccan-y, despite her path. Well, and I... So, the and, like, the, they're not super guided rituals to where it's, like, yeah. you need this and this and this and this. It's more, like, ambiguous. Like, you just... You need something that represents this or something that represents that. Yeah. And, like, it's more open to what your interpretation of that might be mm. um, from what I've read so far. So I'm excited to see if it's more, like, more of that. The thing that I can like about that is the fact that I feel like I've noticed in life that sometimes people tend to try to sell people on a, like, this is the one thing that's going to help so many people because this is the way. Because mm. this is what helped me. Which, great, that's awesome and I don't want people to not share their ways because if it does help other people of course right. that's the best thing to do is to share that so others can be helped as well mm-hmm. but I also like ways that show people that there's not only this just one way that works because everyone is so different and everyone like you said like what represents this to you might not be what represents that to someone else yeah. so just mm-hmm. get what represents to you especially do like what resonates cat. with you <laughs> yeah it really resonates with me that resonates with me so much sam <laughs> it's be on a future t-shirt don't worry that's right coming soon <laughs> oh that's great but yes i that's another thing that excites me about that book and those types of rituals is like you said the kind of malleability that you have around them to yourself like, yeah to make them personal so yeah for sure i'm excited because yeah. i don't really do stuff like this normally unless i make myself do things like this so it's kind of like one of those things that i'm for the season of experiences i'm making myself have more of these experiences because I know I like to have them when I do have them. Like, when we went and we made spell jars at your house, that was mm-hmm. fucking fun, you know? Like, I could be creative, be 
intentional, be like kind of magical and like kiddish in my own like creative, you know, sense. Like, yeah. I don't know. It, it drew those parts of me out that I enjoy having out, mm-hmm. but I don't always bring out because I feel well, uncomfortable. I, like, I think the main <laughs> thing that like, being witchy or like the part the part that really resonates with me (laughs) is like just the mindfulness involved with it and I think that's kind of the whole point is to be mindful in what you're doing in the space that you're creating for yourself in the energies that you're being surrounded by like being more in tune with those things which I think I know my like I have a problem with that like I have PTSD like I have Mm. lots of problems with being mindful and in the moment and so like things that can like help me recognize the moment better yeah and that's a lot of like the direction that I think witchiness has taken me in is like recognizing moments in a way that I like recognize them you know like it has to be explained to me you know like like I don't know like we're like what you're supposed to what your intent what your intentions are supposed to be and like actually paying attention to those Mm -hmm. and sometimes it's hard to do that. In I feel life. like the world is so busy right now that we all just get swept up and just okay, we gotta do this and we gotta move on to that and do this and move on to that and then this happens and that happens and then we're okay. It's a checklist. Yeah. It's a task, a list of tasks that need completed. And if there's always something on the list, then like we're always just in drive mode, yeah. and yep. it's hard to like just tap in and just be in the moment. Yeah. And well, and I think life's I, about really. Well, and I think for me though, it can be a very reflective moment too because. When I do more ritualistic things with myself or whatever, I usually do those solo. And um, a lot of times it's a reminder to myself of what what I want and what I need or what I need to happen. And allowing me to focus on how I'm going to bring that about. Mm -hmm. It's not really like that I expect the universe just to plop something in my lap, which I think is what a lot of people think what witches do or what manifesting is. But hocus pocus it into existence. Yeah, like. it's, that's not <laughs> not really what happens. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's it's really just it, creating the space for it to happen and being mindful of how th- how it's going to get how your life needs to move to get you there. What energy you need to put to surround in, yourself yeah. with and yes. put into it, or like yeah, where you need to focus your intentions and and it's a lot how. clearer when you know how to be mindful of those things. Right. So because when you pay attention to what's going on all the time, and that's one thing like they always talk about, like you're saying mindfulness. I don't practice that much, and I notice that when I do. I, I seem to calm a little bit because I realize that all this stuff is always happening all the time. It's just my perspective of the way that I'm yeah. looking at it that makes me anxious or makes me any other sort of way. <laughs> yeah. So the more that I begin to realize that, that it is all me in my mind and perception, that I just need to go about it in a different way and take action upon that different way yeah. instead of me just being stuck in my mind about it and kind of on a hamster wheel about right. it sort of like mm-hmm. yeah these thoughts and more on our patreon yeah. when we start book club. i mean we haven't even started the self-care book but we already feel like we're already on that path we're already so, going yes, yes, we're I'm doing excited. it <laughs> super excited so anyways, thanks so much for listening, everyone. Check out our Patreon. We have other stuff there with weekend reads and stuff too. Um it's we are we're it's starting growing. a big we're starting a journey. We're and we doing hope you stuff this season. Come along season with us and things, support okay? us in our fun journey. <laughs> and as we bring you more fun content like our podcasts and And let us know what more you want to see. Yeah. Because... Well, and I'm definitely like going to take on more little pet projects and make yeah. like just dump my graphic design practice into this because yes. <laughs> like why not like yeah check out our website we, we have links more. to stuff we talk about like our red bubbles and patreon and my music yeah. pages and yeah Susie's we all got side hustles stuff. let's start yeah. trying to yeah actually put our art out there because oh man yeah i remember when i was a kid i used to literally like love to do little art things and crafts and just Dylan's writing a comic book right now. Yay! That's so cool. I want to read it. 
He's making a comic book Dope. right now? Oh, mm-hmm. cool. I thought he said reading a comic book right now. I was like, oh, No, that's he's cool. making one. Ooh, Fun. now I am excited. She's like, I want to read it. And I was, I was like, oh, There's yeah. not many words involved. You have to ask what the pictures mean. Will he hey, let that's our what a comic book is. Will, will he let our patrons see a slide or two? Ooh, yeah. Maybe we can make a little slideshow when he's done. He's still working on it. Nice. That's awesome. It's uh, Ninja Dog is the name Ooh, of it. Ooh, I'm excited. Ninja Dog. Yes. I could so see him doing a good storyline with that name. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's a little, like, I'm proud of him. He's doing really good on it, but I just don't like violence. I wish there weren't all the fighting and all the, yeah. why is there always got to be a bad guy? Can't we all just be unicorns and rainbows and be <laughs> friends? I love that. Come on. <laughs> what happened to the Why are they fighting all Even the they time? they had villains. <laughs> They're always fighting all the time, but I guess it's a comic book. There has to be action, so... That has storyline, Mom. Whatever. Everyone thinks there's got to be some conflict. It's got to have a hero and a villain and a rise and a plot. Ninja dog bites some guy in the ass. It's great. (laughs) Is it a mailman? Oh, man. No, it's the burglar. Oh, hey. See, at least he's getting the bad guy. Yeah. (laughs) In a very funny way. He's very creative. I just don't... I don't condone his violence. (laughs) That's so an thing and I, I have a new. <laughs> Meryl will condone it for you. It's fine. <laughs> I just have this like it's like randomly not related, but I feel like I want to make it related. <laughs> She'll tie it in. I had. <laughs> you and your. I was kids. thinking this is. <laughs> well, it is quasi related because I was thinking this would be a great character <laughs> for a comic book for for him to write, because but it's based on a Mister Lyric. <laughs> Oh no. So you know the Atlantis Morse <laughs> The Atlantis Morse song, which one? Uh it's like the cross eye bear that you gave to me. Yeah. <laughs> Are you so <laughs> The cross eye bear that, that you, you gave, gave to me? things that might sound like the words but I'm not really sure what they're saying and people call me out on it sometimes like, like what the fuck are you saying like I don't know I don't know what they're saying so I'm just for listening to this week's episode of Midwest Covencast. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode. In the meantime, you can check out Midwest Covencast Presents Weekend Reads. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Join and support us on Patreon. You can also find us at MidwestCovencast.com. You can also join our coven by following us on social media. At Midwest Covencast on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And at Midwest Coven on Twitter. Until next time, coven. Blessed Blessed be. be.